Macedonia, Timeless. In the heart of the Balkans, there is a country called Macedonia, the most eminent crossroads country. An inevitable station along your journey, but without doubt a place you would love to stay longer. It will enchant you with its magnificent uniqueness and awaken your curiosity from within. Throughout the centuries, Macedonia has kept the richness of its natural beauty, traditional values and different cultures. In the southeastern part of Macedonia, there is a city of Okrid, one of the oldest and most authentic cities in the Balkans. Its ancient name is Liknid, meaning the City of Light. Okrid is the cradle of the Orthodox Church, which is the main reason why the city of Okrid is called the Slavic Jerusalem. The bazaar is the main place where the citizens circulate along with the many tourists. This is also the most popular pedestrian area since it is full of small shops, cafes and restaurants. Sightseeing is best started from the city square and then through the narrow streets where we can visit the old town of the city. What is striking at first glance is the characteristic and recognisable architecture of Okrid. The house which best represents this is the one that belonged to the Robevtsi family, which is where the city's museum is located today. In the small workshop near the museum, you can enter and experience the paper making technique as it was performed many centuries ago. Okrid is one of the several cities in the world where you can find copies of the Gutenberg printing press. The original is to be found in Germany. Then we continue our journey to the Church of St. Sophia, which was built in the 11th century by the Okrid Archbishop Leon. The church is in the shape of the letter T and has the only gallery of mid-European wall paintings. The Church of St. Sophia was used as a cathedral by the Okrid archbishops for a long time, as well as in the time of Tsar Samuel. Situated in the old town of Okrid, ancient theatre functioned during the Hellenic and Roman period. Excavated in a hill, rebuilt as much as possible in the late ancient time, up to what were known to be the past 30 rows of marble seats, now only 7 to 8 original ones are preserved. The theatre today is thoroughly refurbished representing both an archaeological attraction and a place where important cultural events in the life of Okrid take place, especially during the summer period when the largest event, namely the Okrid Summer Festival, is held. As we climb up the cobblestone street, the upper gate appears in front of us, which at the time when the city was built was the official and main entrance of the city. The church Holy Mary Peribleptos was established by the Byzantium vicar Progonsgur in 1295 at the time of the Archbishop Makari. It is dedicated to the patron saint of the city, St. Clement of Okrid, who arrived there in the 9th century and spread Christianity as well as the Cyrillic alphabet. He established the Okrid Literary School and planted the seeds of art which were later developed and accepted among the broader masses. The Okrid Fortress, a symbol of the city, is one of the greatest medieval cities in the territory of the Republic of Macedonia. With its foundations and walls, it stretches across the whole of Okrid Hill. The hill section of the city was protected by high walls and towers across all sides, except the south side, which overlooks the lake. The walls were three kilometers in length, reaching the Okrid coast. In the old town, one could enter through three gates, out of which only the upper gate still exists. During the reign of Tsar Samuel from 976 to 1014 and his successors till 1018, Okrid was a metropolis of the first state of the Macedonian Slavs. The renovated fortress has kept its monumental urban skeleton even to this day. Plauschnik is a place where the first Slavic University of St. Clement, the creator of the Cyrillic alphabet, once existed and the place where even today the relics of this saint remain. It is located under the remains of Samuel's fortress. In the early Christian basilica, built in the shape of a four-leaf clover, you'll be able to see the incredibly well-preserved baptistery in the shape of a triconius, with exceptional mosaics where the four heavenly rivers are represented, Gion, Pishon, Tigris and Euphrates. Built on a high rock, 
in the old town of Ockerid, on one of the most majestic places along the coast of Ockerid Lake, lies the church of St. Jovan at Caneo, which dates from the 13th century. It was also painted at the time, although the church's founder and the painters of the frescoes have remained unknown. The architecture is important for studying the medieval monuments of Ockerid since it represents a successful combination of Byzantium and Armenian elements. This church is probably the most photographed object in the city of Ockerid. A boat ride along the coast is an essential and unforgettable experience that is not to be missed. The pearl made of the scales of the Plashitsa a small fish that is known as a symbol of the city. The Televi and Filevi families are the only ones that know the secret and cherish the tradition of the practice of the handmade ochred pearl. For more than 80 years, it has been handed from generation to generation. Ochred pearls have enhanced the appearance of Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Diana, the actress Juliette Binoche and other famous ladies. When discussing summer holidays, Ockerid offers a wide variety, starting from big beaches with bars, cocktails and music, to small hidden sandy beaches for those who prefer to enjoy a more intimate atmosphere, sunbathing under the Ockerid sun, reading a book on the beach. There are a lot of wonderful beaches and the average temperature in July and August is 24 degrees. Sailing, swimming, diving or cruising, whatever you choose, the lake will provide a memorable and joyful experience. The coast of Ockerid Lake is full of restaurants that are a required visit to taste the local specialities. The Ockerid trout and the famous Ockerid garlic dip or enjoy the taste of another local fish, the Ockerid belvitsa. The freshness of the Ockerid nights, the local taste and the smell of the lake water are an extraordinary combination that lures many couples for a romantic summer dinner. Over the Ockerid Lake rises the Galicica National Park one of three in Macedonia. The nature here is protected for a very good reason. Galicica is a picnic destination for those who want to view the lake high from the mountain, for the lovers of mountain biking, or for the adrenaline seekers who would like to try a parachute adventure. Of course, you can always try the organized tours by Jeep through the astonishing nature. Just a few minutes from the village Peshtani, there is a museum on the water this museum consists of a reconstruction of a pile-dwelling settlement which existed from the 12th to the 7th century BC. It is found on the water, on a platform placed on wooden stilts. In this museum, there are some findings of remains underwater in the settlement, a diving base and reconstructed fortresses from a Roman camp from the 2nd century. Terpeza is a special place because of the numerous small sandy beaches which can only be reached by boat. The pearly white beaches and the crystal clear water make Torpeza a real tourist paradise which is developing into an elite tourist centre. It is 20 kilometres away from Ockrid in the heart of the national park Galicica. The village is some 10 centuries old and due to its exotic appeal it has earned the nickname the Macedonian Saint Tropez. Two kilometres before reaching the Albanian border you can visit the Saint Nam Monastery, a place where the river called Surundrim flows out of the Ockrid Lake which got its name from the long black algae that have grown around its source. The St. Naum Monastery was built at the beginning of the 900s in honor of the miracle worker St. Naum, who had the power to cure, especially people who had psychological problems. Ockrid is said to be the city of 365 churches, one for each day of the year. Yet St. Naum is the precise place where you should truly feel the Christian spirit and be at peace. The place itself will enchant you with its impeccable beauty. The water sources urge you to go on a stroll or a bike ride so you can see the bottom of the lake through the crystal clear and cold water and to lose yourself in the silence and exotic view that at times is reminiscent of the Amazon. The St. Nam Monastery guards the relics of this scholar of the first Slavonic missionaries and the legend says that when you kneel on his tomb and put your ear on it, you can listen to his heartbeat. 
Even the most restless souls shall find their peace and quiet amongst the flowery plants and peacocks in the church's yard. The Okrid Swimming Marathon is a regular open water race, part of the Grand Prix series of the International Swimming Federation, held annually in August on the route known as Klime Savin, which runs from St. Naum to the city harbour in Okrid, covering a total of 30 kilometres. Each year, on January the 19th, Okrid hosts one of the greatest religious and touristic events, Epiphany or Vodizzi. Hundreds of young men from all over the Balkans jump into the cold waters of the lake to catch the Holy Cross. It is believed that he who catches it will be blessed with good health, happiness and luck all year round. This big Christian event in Okrid regularly attracts more than 30,000 tourists from within Macedonia and abroad. Okrid Lake belongs to the group of the oldest and deepest lakes in the world, and due to its size, it is among the largest in Europe. It has existed for more than three million years. Through its unique flora and fauna, the lake represents one of the greatest biological reservoirs in Europe. Okrid Lake covers an area of 352 kilometers squared, out of which two thirds belong to Macedonia and one third to Albania. The water is crystal clear and one can see its depth up to 22 meters, although its measured depth is 286 meters. The lake is a habitat of 17 types of fish. The most famous ones are the Okrid trout and the small fish Plashitsa. Due to this, Okrid Lake and the city of Okrid were proclaimed as a World Cultural Heritage under UNESCO protection in 1980. When leaving Okrid, visit the authentic souvenir shops in the city and purchase some beautiful Macedonian handmade artefact to have it as a memory from the city, which is said that in its long history even used to have 365 churches, one for every day of the year. <laughs>